I've been playing around with coffee since like 99, but professionally I've switched to coffee since 2005. It's, it's been a while. Coffee for me is a mean of traveling. Through each glass, through each origins, each regions, I get different pictures of a place. And by drinking them, I let my imaginations to go wild. Just imagining how, how coffee, if I'm drinking coffee from Aceh, just thinking like, oh, wondering how Aceh is look like. And like that, that's the cheapest mean of uh, traveling for me. I'm Adi Taru Prajeka. I'm a coffee consultant and also a Q-grader instructor. One of the strong points of Indonesian coffee is actually the flavors that are being offered. We grow like one-eighth of the circum uh, circumfere of the world from Aceh to Papua. And this region offer different uh, flavor, different characteristics, different aroma. If you go to South Sulawesi, if you compare the people who live in the Kalosi area and also in Toraja area, which is like side by side, you can see the differences between the culture of the people, how they work the land, uh, how they process the coffee. And for me, it's really interesting. It's part of coffee for Indonesia, it's just not a product, it's actually also a cultural product. So basically, you have all these uh, small trees, you plant them on the fields. From seeds to a point where you could start harvesting, it usually takes about like five years, six years. And then when you first harvest, the quality is usually not that good. Because we, also, we, we always claim that all oh, the trees are still learning how to grow the, the fruits. On the second uh, harvest, the quality is going to be much better. Uh, on the old days, the farmer just gonna pick whatever fruit they have, red, green, yellow, whatever. But now uh, people are start to pick only the red ones, which is the ripe ones. Because if you pick the, the unripe ones, the tree itself is gonna be hurt. If you have a tree, uh, if you have a, a coffee tree, and then you just pick them uh, whatever tree, uh, whatever fruit it have the next harvest the amount of uh, coffee cherries you're gonna get can drop so if you do strip picking it means that next year quality or quantity is going to be uh, much lower so after you pick the red ones there's a bunch of uh, post harvest processing that you can do the easiest way or the oldest way is actually what we call it as a natural uh, process those coffee we harvest, we just dry them up until they're really dry and then uh, hull them uh, and then we get the, uh, the, the green beans and then we roast them. After we roast them, we drink them.